In today's video, we're going to talk about tracking file downloads in GA4. Now, even though GA4 offers to track downloading of the files via enhanced measurement out of the box, it creates some confusion because if you are using file downloads as a lead generation strategy and then have some tool that actually requires a user to um, fill in an email or some kind of data in exchange for the file download, it's probably not going to work as you expect. For example, if you look at this page that exists on Data Driven U, but it's actually a content being uploaded to WordPress, it doesn't have GA4 loading on this resource because it's a headless PDF file simply existing on a server. It doesn't even behave as a page. So if a person clicks on a link in an email to access this resource, GA4 would not know about it. If you see, I just reloaded this page and if we go to the debugger, nothing happens here. Whereas if I reload this page here, the debugger will probably know about it. So you see the page view and it says that location is the track file downloads Google Analytics 4, which is exactly this page. So I want you to beware of this nuance to file downloads enhanced measurement event because, you know, I don't want you to set expectations that your lead generation strategy is covered by this default event that gets locked in GA4. So now we covered what GA4 file download is not. Let's actually see what it is. Basically, anytime a person clicks on a link that's pointing them to a file with an extension that Google Analytics 4 considers a downloadable, which is PDF or Excel spreadsheet or some other types of files, which we'll see in an exploration super quickly here, GA4 will register any of these clicks on a website as a file download. So it needs to be a download that's accessible without any barrier. For example, if you look at uh, this click here, it will generate this pop-up that requires you to fill in your name and email, which actually disables file download as an event in GA4. So this one here will not be tracked in GA4 by default. So basically you need to have your data stream set to actually collect enhanced measurement. And in the enhanced measurement, by clicking on this wrench icon, you need to have file downloads chosen here as something that you want to track by default in your GA4 account. Now, if we take a look at file downloads in GA4 as an event, so for file downloads, there is a bunch of parameters being tracked by default, which is file extension, file name, link classes, ID, text could be super useful and the URL. And in this page, which we'll link to in the video description, you can find all the details about this event that's been pushed into GA4 via enhanced measurement. Now let's go and set up an exploration that helps you understand file downloads. I can show you this one that I prepared previously and it's super simple. I'm going to reverse engineer it for you to understand how it's been structured or we can simply create a freeform exploration here super quickly and just follow these steps. So I chose the event name and event count just to get into the list, super basic. And then I put a filter and I say I want event name that contains file downloads which will simply restrict this entire list just to file downloads. And then I can play with the additional dimensions that will drill down deeper into this data set. So for example, if I double click on file extension, it will show that PDF is the most popular resource type on data driven U, but also Excel spreadsheet or a CSV or PPTX zip file and so on. Now, if we want to look at different data, I'm going to remove the file extension here and let's say link text. This report will actually tell me which text is the most compelling one for the visitors. 
basically it's not that straightforward because it depends on the number of times that this text has been seen obviously to calculate the conversion rate but you can have some kind of idea what kind of copy works better than the other let's remove link text and let's say play with why not city and mobile model which will tell you where are your resources most popular or where do people come from the ones that download resources from your website also mobile model actually this is somewhat misleading because it's obviously a browser but you know you can put in a page path as well to understand which particular pages are driving most downloads from your website i hope that you like this video and that it helps you uh, figure out better which downloads are being pulled from your website and how often and whatnot regarding all these additional parameters that are basically automatically stitched to your file download event in GA4. If you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.